Ah, uh, perfect. Are they um, both on? Yeah. You're getting both channels? <laughs> getting both channels. And I think we're all good. I'm going to assume the position. Okay. All right. Let us know when. Three, two, one. I'm Megan Healy here with Mustang News, and we're doing our second edition of 100 Yards. Here I have slot back on Cal Poly football team, Kyle Lewis. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, no worries. Are you excited to do this? Yeah, I am. I've never done this before. Should so. we walk the field? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Okay, so first question. What are your personal goals for this season? Uh, personal goals for this season, uh, one of the, the goals that we set before season was take it one game at a time. Um, we wanted to try to have at least a better record than we had last year so it's kind of tough right now but besides that we just want to uh, focus on each game as it comes like each week and not think about any other week besides that all right now i know you're the fastest person on the team but we got a we got a lot of questions in this interview so okay. we're gonna take it a little bit slower yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how do you how do you plan on attaining these goals um honestly just hard work and like speaking it to an existence that's what we've said a lot um throughout the season and in camp, we've just told each other, like, we're going to do this and go out and do it, you know? So I think that kind of works with everything in life, like whether it's school or just personal goals outside of school, social life, like if you're telling yourself you can do it, like you're going to accomplish it. So, um, yeah, we, we've hit a rough patch, but I think we could still turn it around and um, come out successful, make some memories senior year so yeah exactly you're a senior so if you had to choose a senior quote what would that be um my senior quote in high school was it's not how you start it's how you finish so i kind of feel like that's really fitting right now with the situation that's going on so i think that would probably be my senior quote it's not how you start it's how you finish so hopefully we can work that into effect <laughs> I love the hopefulness and I love the positivity. Um, <laughs> do you have any pregame rituals? Man, I'm actually real quiet in pregame. It's really <laughs> weird. Like, as loud as I am during the game or in practice, I'm, like, very to myself in pregame. Like, I listen to music, I jog around the field, and then I'm kind of just, like, in my own world, you know? Like, I don't... There's a lot of people who do, like, some weird stuff. Like, <laughs> I don't know, like, they are freaking out or they're screaming or somebody like slaps them or something like that and I was like not me I'm I'm like very like away from people and people are like are you okay and I'm like yeah like I'm just in my zone and then once the game starts like that first hit I'm just I'm back to the normal clue you know so is there a certain song that you listen to that like really kind of like sets the tone for you before oh the game? gosh no I I'm I'm listening to every every song any song that pops up that's just a hype song is probably my song you know I don't have like that one song yeah it's weird I can I can listen to Metallica I can listen to Young Thug I'll, sometimes I'll listen to some some Drake just whatever mood I'm in I'm like okay this is it's this type of game you know like I gotta listen to this type of stuff you know whatever you're feeling in the whatever moment. I'm feeling <laughs> in the moment that's it so what's your tell me what your favorite part about playing college ball at Cal Poly man favorite part at Cal Poly um, Honestly, like the camaraderie and the, the family aspect of it, like this is probably the most family oriented football team organization I've seen. Like we have our coaches, kids out at practice a lot of days, you know, and that's like just seeing that it makes you feel like the coaches care about you other than just being like, oh, you're another player. You know, so that's probably one of my favorite things is feeling that like connection with the coaches and the other teammates I have and like even with the fans you mean like our loyal fans on our side the alumni and the people who are from slow like they're always here and you usually can see like the same people you mean throughout the years so I like that part of it it's real like traditional and like close in that sense that's awesome um so do you have any guilty pleasures you want to share <laughs> guilty pleasures <laughs> Maybe any like Netflix shows that you're binge watching or like any oh, man. guilty food pleasures. <laughs> oh man. So I don't know I don't know why I was allowed to have this gift, <laughs> but I have like an a crazy metabolism. So I can literally eat anything and everyone's always mad at me about it because I, I like I nothing happens in my body, like I don't gain weight or anything. So before games I usually eat 
like a pint of ice cream the <laughs> night before the game. What flavor? I'm curious. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm like an ice cream like 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 enthusiast. Or... <laughs> so I would have to, Ben and Jerry's, you know, they're up there. Um, Talenti, that's, Ooh. man, that's, yeah. Can't go wrong with the gelato. Yeah, you just can't, you know, <laughs> like there's so many different flavors and, you know, Ben and Jerry's is cool though. They give you like those crazy combinations. I actually had Ben and Jerry's last night, so it's crazy <laughs> that you're saying that. All right, so we're heading to the other end zone. I have a couple more questions. Who is your best friend on the team? Best friend on the team, oh my gosh. Hard to choose. Oh, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> oh man, I would, I would either say Joe Prothrow or Malcolm Davis. I would say Malcolm just because I was here when he first got here as a freshman and I've kind of, we've got to see each other grow. Um, I would say Joe because we came here at the same time, like we were on the same recruiting trip. You mean he, we literally had to go through scout together, everything like us growing up. Um, I'm his daughter's godfather, so that's wow. like, yeah, he's, it's just hard. It's hard to, choose. I, I consider him family, so I would probably say Malcolm. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, what's your, what's your 40 time? <laughs> Man, I, I, I haven't had a 40 since high school, but based off what I'm thinking and training and what my strength coach is thinking for me to run after season, I want to be like a four three five. All right. Do you think that anyone on the team could beat you? No, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Well, there There's you no have way. it. Kyle Lewis, you guys, slot back of Cal Poly football. Thank you for joining us on 100 Yards. I'm Megan Healy. Tune in next time. Awesome. That was